So in this session, we'll be looking at what is block cipher and what is stream cipher, the difference between block cipher and stream cipher. We'll also be looking at the various block cipher modes like electronic code book, cipher block chaining, cipher feedback mode, output feedback mode, and we'll wind up this session with counter mode. We'll start with what is block cipher. First, we'll take a look at what is block cipher. It is very simple. Say you have some message, for instance, I have a message like this, Satish CJ is guilty, some message I have. And uh, this is the message. And what happens is this message is broken down into blocks. So this is block one, block two, block three, like that. And each block is of a fixed size. You can consider each block to be 64 bits. So this is 64 bits, 64 bits, 64 bits. The block size can vary. It can also be 128, 128, 128, or 256 like that. So if you take up a block size of 64 bits, then each block should be 64 bits. So what we understand from here is a message is broken down into blocks. And in block cipher, we encrypt. We encrypt each block to get the cipher text. So for each block, there will be a corresponding cipher text. So if I say if this is block B1, I love C1 for that. If this is block B2, I love cipher text C2. If this is block B3, I will have cipher text C3. Obviously, we'll be employing an uh, encryption algorithm to get the cipher text. Again, from these cipher text, I can get the original message back. That is, the original message can is B3 here by using a decryption strategy. So block cipher is all about taking the message, breaking them down into blocks and applying an encryption strategy such that each block is converted to a block of cipher text. You have to keep in mind if the block size is 64 bits, if the block size is 64 bits, the cipher text block will also be 64 bits. Another important thing that we have learned in our introduction to cryptography is whenever you are using an encryption or a decryption strategy, what you will use is you will also use a key to perform that. So that's all about block ciphers. And uh, the question we get now is how a message is broken down into blocks. I say Satish CJ is guilty is the message. And I'm telling you it is broken down into 64 bit blocks. So how that happens, let me tell you. Let me go to a white screen here. So this is the message. Satish CJ, let's say is guilty. So this message, how it gets broken down is first it it's converted to hexadecimal characters. So this message, Satish CJ, it's converted to 16 hexadecimal so based on the length of this message, I'm getting it represented in 16 hexadecimal characters. Likewise, is guilty, again, based on the size, this is also converted to hexadecimal. And the size of this will be 60. It can be anything like 6, A, E, F, F, 7, 3. So this entire message is converted to hexadecimal. When it is converted, it is actually 16 characters in length. And each hexadecimal value is then represented in 4-bit binary. So if it is uh, 6, it will be 0, 1, 1, 0. This is 6. So like that, each uh, hexadecimal value is taken and converted as 4-bit binary patterns. So when you have 16 bits of hexadecimal value, what is that you're going to get the output is you're going to get 64 bits of binary. So I'll write it here 64 bits of binary. So that becomes a 64 bit block. 
Likewise, this can also be represented in some hexadecimal value. Like that is 16 digits in length and each hexadecimal value will be represented in a binary, 4-bit binary. So that's how it is represented. So like that you have 64 bits. So that becomes a block. And this block is taken and an encryption strategy is applied. You encrypt. When you encrypt, obviously you need a key to encrypt. So use a key, encrypt it, and then you get the cipher text. So like this, this block of 64 bits is taken, it is encrypted and then you get the cipher text. Okay. So whenever you encrypt or decrypt, you need a key. So when the block size is 64 bits, the cipher text will also be 64 bits. So that's all about block cipher. I've got a Java implementation for this, like how a string gets converted to hexadecimal and to binary patterns. Let's have a quick look at the program. So this is the program. What it does is it takes in a string and then it converts it to an uh, hexadecimal character array. And this hexadecimal character array is given to x2 binary method, which converts that hexadecimal value to a binary format. We'll uh, just give this message and check. This is just for your understanding. So let me say Satish CJ is guilty. So in this case, you can see here, this is the uh, hexadecimal value, maybe 16 bits of hexadecimal for Satish CJ. And is guilty, we have another uh, 16 bits. So for each hexadecimal value, you can see here there's a binary uh, pattern. There's four bits of binary pattern map to each hexadecimal value. For seven, we have 011. For three, we have 0011 like that. So this uh, 16 bits of hexadecimal value gets converted to 64 bit patterns that becomes a block. So you take every 16 bits and you can make it a block of 64 bit patterns. Now we'll be working with these uh, binary patterns in our encryption algorithms to either encrypt or decrypt. So I hope you all understood what is block cipher. Uh, let me show that with a small vis visualization here. So this is the message and uh, this is the hexadecimal conversion of uh, the message Satish CJ. So he's guilty that is the hexadecimal conversion so these are hexadecimal values you can see c a everything and uh, this hexadecimal value is converted to 64 bit patterns that is each uh, digit is converted to 4 bit patterns so we have 16 digits here therefore we have 64 bits and likewise here we have 16 uh, hexadecimal characters and uh, this is converted to a 64 bit block so now the message is divided into 64 bit blocks and what we do is we take every block we take this block we apply an encryption strategy this is going to be any encryption strategy like a data encryption standard which you'll be learning in the next class and we'll be using a key such that this entire 64 bit block gets encrypted as a 64 bit cipher text okay so we'll also take the next block and uh, we'll apply the encryption strategy, the same encryption algorithms, for instance, uh, DES, and uh, we'll use a key and a cipher text will be provided. So this is again a 64-bit cipher text. The cipher text matches the number of bits in the input plain text. So that is block cipher. We'll take a look at what is block cipher padding here. 
say let me consider this message now satish cj it is not is guilty it just says guilty so the message size has reduced here when compared to the previous slide and when you convert this to hexadecimal characters this gets converted to 16 uh, digits whereas guilty guilty is not getting converted to 16 digits it takes only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we have only 12 hexadecimal characters here so this uh, 16 digits gets converted to a 64 bit binary pattern each uh, is mapped to a 4 bit pattern so 64 bits whereas when you take this side this has got only 12 so 12 into 4 is 48 so we get only a block size of 48 here 48 bits and this side we have a block size of 64 bits so we are taking a block size of 64 bits from the message so this is 64 bits so we can pass it to an encryption strategy apply a key and get a ciphertext that is of 64 bits so this is not uh, the correct ciphertext i've just given some dummy ciphertext here so we understand that we get 64 bits of ciphertext whereas this side there is only 48 bits we need 64 bit block here for that how we can solve this problem is we can go and pad some characters to the end of this uh, message let me show you how to do that so what we are doing here is since it's only 12 characters at length what we are doing here is we are padding the missing four characters with some additional message of zeros anything like that so we are just padding the message with additional characters such that our 64 bit block is achieved so you see here all these zeros that are being padded so you call that padding why we do that because the block size should be 64 bits every block should be 64 bits that's also considered to be a disadvantage of uh, block cipher strategy because every block that we take should be of the fixed size if there is one block that is of a lesser size then we have to go and add some characters to the message such that we, we achieve 64 bits of fixed size for each block and uh, once after padding we'll apply the encryption strategy and then we'll get the cipher text so while you are decrypting it while you are getting the original message back you should see to that you are going to ignore we have to ignore the padded bits so that is called block cipher padding i hope you are all clear with what is a block cipher and uh, how do you convert a message into fixed size blocks and the concept behind block cipher padding now let's take a look at a stream cipher a stream cipher is uh, actually considered to be faster than the block cipher it's uh, simple you know you're not going to divide the message into blocks here you're going to take a stream of bits and then we are going to encrypt it the stream of bits can be anything it can be one bit or it can be a byte of eight bits so what we do in stream cipher is we take say let's assume that we take one byte at a time so we are going to get eight bits at a time and then we'll encrypt it so there is no block concept here it just uh, it can happen in real time so i'm getting a stream of bits i get eight bits i just encode the eight bits i'll encrypt it and then i'll send it okay in this slide we'll take a simple example for a stream cipher so i have taken this to be the message sa and this is converted to an hexadecimal uh, representation like this and uh, this is in turn converted into 8 bit stream pattern so this is 8 bits and uh, this is 8 bits and we're taking every 8 bits in a stream cipher and we'll be performing an encryption and the encryption here is just a simple xr with a key so this is the key and uh, we'll be getting the cipher text that is given here so i just shown a very simple encryption strategy here so what is the difference between a block cipher and a stream cipher is in stream cipher we are taking the stream of bits as and when it arrives we can encode that the bit size can be one byte or more than that or even it can be one bit so likewise we are taking the next available eight bits we are encrypting that with a key 
and that is the result we all know what is an XR strategy right so even whenever there are two ones or two zeros the output will be zero only when there is a one in one of the bit patterns you'll get the output to be one so here it is one here it is uh, the output is one so again output is one 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 so this is the result likewise here two so two zero zero two one zero two one zero and here you have two zero so it's a zero so we have one of the input bits to be a one so output is one likewise one of the bits is a one output is one this is zero and this is one so we got the cipher text c2 here so let's take a look at another interesting fact here so this is the result we have achieved from our previous slide so result after performing an xr if you take the result and then you perform an XR with the key again, so what you're going to get is that will lead to the original message. Original message in the bit pattern. So let's understand this. So this is the result and this is the key. If you perform an XR, both zeros output is zero. So here output is one, one, one. Both ones output is zero, zero. This is one, this is one. What is this? This is nothing but when you take the four bits, this is nothing but seven. And when you take these four bits, this is nothing but three. Likewise, you take the next result. Uh, this is cipher text two we achieved, right? You perform an XR with the key. What will be the result? So it's zero, one, one, zero, 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 one. So what that, what does uh, the four bits here mean? It means six and these four bits correspond to one and this is the hexadecimal value and when you convert the hexadecimal characters to string you're going to get the original plain text message so what we understand here is we take a stream of bits and then we encrypt it we call it stream cipher and uh, stream cipher the advantage is it is uh, faster it uses lesser code and uh, there is no need to do any kind of uh, padding that we did in the block cipher strategy i hope you are all clear with the difference between block ciphers and stream ciphers